So first of all, I we, we're for well the general question: What's new, guys? Uh, <laughs> a lot has happened since we've had you on last. Uh, so it just seems like you're on you're on every wrestling show that I watch. Uh, and, and some of that I don't. I mean, it, it's, it's it's incredible. It's incredible what's going on. Well, Shane, let's start with you first. You had the most recent, uh, uh, I guess, debut, right? As he has a mouthful of butterfingers. Yeah. So let's <laughs> obviously ask. Listen, I'm here for the hey, tough but questions. It's on brand. It's fun. Yes. <laughs> you can only answer with a f- mouthful Why of butterfinger. What is the matter with you? He forgot the belt. He forgot the, he belt. Forgot the belt. I brought the belt. Technically, I okay. brought the belt. Oh, the belt's on his shirt. Okay, right it is. I got you. That is the new release. It's not even out it's yet. It's not even out yet. Oh, wow. It's a debut Ooh, right there. If you're on video, we'll, new we'll, Savage Gentleman we'll, shirt. We'll let people know later whenever it's going to be released. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. One okay. of those other topics. So that's, is that, that's a prototype. Indeed. Mm. I love it. I like it. I like it. So so first of all, you you did make a debut last night on AEW's Dark Elevation. I did. Against uh, Kaz. Yes. And he beat me. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, I lost. It was, it was a very good showing, though. Well, thank it was you. A very good showing. Spoiler, if I'm allowed to say it, I oh. wasn't even there, but Frankie was um, fantastic. Apparently, so In- I heard. Incredible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we're gonna put that out there. He got beat by a good man, so <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was a very, very good person. Mm-hmm. Good in the locker room. Everyone loved him. Mm-hmm. So it was. It couldn't have been a a more pleasant first experience. experience. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's what I always hear about that AEW locker room. There's just a lot of like good vibes going on over there. Yeah, very good. I was welcomed with open arms by so many people. You know, obviously her and I have a rapport with a lot of the guys coming up from mm-hmm. the indies, but even like just people from Twitter and other social media platforms. You know, just making a connection with them. Everyone was super cool, mm-hmm. and I got a lot of good feedback too. Good, so, good, yeah. So I'm always impressed when when I watch these matches. Like like, it's not just their, you know. I mean, we know these are you know kind of enhancement matches, right? That they're of doing course. on dark, uh, you know. But it's great that they give. And, and and to be honest, like I love that. Like when when guys like you go on and 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 Frost, you too, when you were on there, uh, you know, you get. A lot, like you get to showcase yeah. regardless of the of the <laughs> final, and that's that's always really cool. Um, but also, like like here here, uh, uh, Paul White and and Mark Henry, like they talked about your MMA career. Uh, you know, they they talked about beard. A, you, they talked about your beard. beard. Yes, <laughs> yes, you got a lot of beard props there. By the way, we got actually we should mention. Um, I, I I will well we did provide butterfingers. I did get a some. Some beard, uh, uh, what, what do we oil? call this? Beard Mythical, oil. Mythical beards. Yeah. What is this? Mythical beards. Mythical beards. I got, I got the uh, Rumple Stillskin and the Pecos Bill. So, uh, oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I know we're diverting from the wrestling. I, listen, I've never, I've never oiled my beard. Maybe it's obvious to people out there. Uh, but, but well, <laughs> well, you're going to. Well, today. I, I'm going. Actually, I'm going to do this during the break. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're, we're, we're going to live. Nice. And then, and then we're going to record it for Patreon. And, and he's going to come back glistening. Is it going to be glistening? So yes. <laughs> why, first of all, as as the master beard person over there, uh, <laughs> uh, why why do I need? or want or let's say need uh beard oil i i don't what 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 does this do for me it does a myriad of things but for one it smells amazing okay so your significant other will thank me later (laughs) (laughs) there you go that and okay you know sometimes you get itchy under there you know it's getting scratchy it gets a little it gets dry dry right and that's exactly what it does so it takes care of the skin while providing a nice sheen Okay. Okay. You go. You do have a great shininess has, going on. Right. Emo oils infused. Lady Frost has her own scent. Actually, she does. I do not have a beard. Really? Yes. <laughs> the bearded lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're a jerk. Um, Savage Jet has his own scent. It's peanut butter, of course. Of course. And then my like, scent is like a fresh, freshly fallen snow. Yeah, fresh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, like a could, fresh frost. Yes. It's um, like a lavender of sorts. Lavender it's, it's and just citrus. A French, yeah, clean scent. But mm-hmm. we both have our own scents at Mythical Beards. So. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so the, I'm worried the peanut butter is going to attract some like flies or something, though, with a sweet smell or something. It'll attract bears. Bears. 
<laughs> You're saying don't be, don't beard up and go out in the woods, right? <laughs> okay, not. all right, that's good. That's good to know. But but they do make an invisible man scent. Okay, which has no it's sense. Just, yeah, it's just an oil. So you're good to go. Would that be Would that be John Cena's? Whoa! Wow! Mm. <laughs> Can't smell mm-hmm. me. <laughs> Can't <laughs> smell me. <laughs> oh jeez! But you only did the beard. Just, yeah, it's a it's a low one, right? <laughs> so, oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are way off topic already. No, this is a, this is perfect for this show. This is exactly what we. To do be on this fair, show. Great. being off topic for this show is, is being on, on brand. Topic. Yeah, yeah, that's on yeah, brand. yeah, that's the brand. Good. That's Great. a brand. Uh, but, uh, I actually did have a couple of AEW questions from our buddy Chachi. Oh. I put it out in the Discord. He, he asked a couple of questions, so I'm going to pass these along. We'll bring them on. All right. So he did say, uh, you, you already talked about Kaz and how great he was. Yes. Uh, uh, so who he says, who was the best backstage? I don't know. To you in general, great to meet, you know, wh- wh- however you want to interpret that. Uh, probably Matt Seidel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we've only met a very hand, you know, few handful of times, but never really had conversation and we really got to talk and break bread with one another. It was mm-hmm. really good, you know, especially in the locker room. So that was, that was probably the best guy down there. Okay. I mean, there, there's so many though, mm-hmm. yeah. but mm-hmm. guys that I didn't really know prior or have like friendships with, you know, all those guys were great. You know, of course, but Matt Seidel was awesome. And his other question is, how many vlogs were concurrently being filmed while you were there? <laughs> and, and also, 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 which ones are you probably popping up in in the next week? <laughs> uh, I think I may have walked through three simultaneously, you know, through the, through the corridor. It was, it was the vlog nexus or something, right? Right. So, uh, like there Actually, may be there may be more hours of blog content being shot every week than even what AEW is televising in YouTube. Absolutely, right. between <laughs> all of the different people doing it all at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I made it in uh, Fuegos and Allen Angels, mm-hmm. but I know I heard them talking about it. So I don't know if I'm in it's it or possible. not. It's I could possible. be there. It is incredible. Like it feels like like I always look Marvel. Like WWE, it feels like. They do like all like, hey, they go do a raw somewhere. They're filming for spots and commercials and 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 documentaries and who knows what in the back. It feels like that same thing happens at AEW, but it's all it's all the roster. Yeah, and it's all going to YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> so you got to do something with the content. Absolutely, absolutely. So so since we've had you now 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 Lee Frost, we, we've we've since we've had you on, you've been I think at every damn company. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me brag really about much. this. So uh, I've had, I've had a I, I've had to purchase a few pay per views because I, I realized you know you were going to be on them at this point on fight. Uh, but uh, well, let's talk about that a little bit. You've you've had a hell of a year coming out of COVID, haven't you? Uh, humbly, yes, yes, yes I have. <laughs> it's not, okay. It's not, okay. Not humbly. She's the best damn there you unsigned go. woman. <laughs> that's around right now like and that's let, why and by the way i gotta say this is why this works because <laughs> you cheerlead each other when absolutely. you're on the other shows you're like look at them when they're being humble it's not you about know? being somewhere because we always come home to each other we're always together there you go so there if go. one of us wins we really do both win it's awesome mm-hmm. and i love that people are taking notice to both of us as a tag and both of us as singles competitors because it is different right like we i think we worked tag for so long and we got used to that and then we were separated and we were like what do we do on our own like how are we singles wrestlers Mm -hmm. and then we did singles wrestling for so long when we got booked as a tag again we're like oh crap we do do it again (laughs) and then you get people that are like hey you're gonna be heels hey you're gonna be babies and like you don't have a say so and you're like wow so mm-hmm. you're doing tag you're doing singles you're doing baby you're doing heel and you just and we're managing each other yeah at the right same that's time. you mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. but you just you have to show up you just show up and do what you can and make an impression and we're always always going to be each other's number one fan and i think it's important if we didn't believe in each other then we certainly would not be here five years oh. later six years later yeah true, yeah true. yeah i mean that's nice because you, you have like a support system because like just you know i i can't I can't imagine being on the road doing these shows on your own has to be like you know Brutal. T- tough and oh, solitary yeah. right yeah so you know and and, and you know and a lot of a lot of wrestlers have a significant other that comes along or something but that's not yeah, every time I and mean, that's that's and they're not in it 
you know yeah. so so that's kind of nice i don't envy them in the least mm -hmm. because if you have a non-wrestling partner and you're able to make know. it work yeah right congratulations yeah congratulations <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough when you're both in it mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. think i just put out some sort of tweet um that was like we've been in a relationship with each other and wrestling <laughs> for almost six years like it's almost like is it what is it called a thruple is that a thing? That's a throw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure with, we're in with a throuple wrestling. with it's wrestling. Our, it's not our mistress. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, it's a full blown throuple. It's a full blown. <laughs> yep. We're wow. like, hey, we're this monogamous couple, except uh, we're in a throuple with wrestling. Yo, old wrestling <laughs> over here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> except for when you're rolling around with other people in their skivvies. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Spandex. Yes, know? yes. Um, a different version of putting a ring on it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Put it in a, okay. No, 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 I'm gonna yep. stop with that. Hey, we got uh, we got some. Uh, actually, we got some commentary for for uh, for Victor here uh, from over on Twitch uh, from Gallon Frey. He says he's convinced that your life savings have all been spent on Butterfingers. Actually, I think False. that's a joke because yes. I think. I think you're getting them. <laughs> like I think you you got the hookup, right? Yes. I mean, they yeah. gave you the belt. They, like, that's just, legit. Yes, with a dozen Butterfingers <laughs> inside. A, a nice. dozen? You mean like yeah. four dozen? I don't the know. box was stuffed. We like, had mm -hmm. no idea. I have I have a wingspan almost the size of John Jones. <laughs> this box was this big. Yeah. Like in my arms, and I was like, I have no idea what they sent me. So it really it happened. They were like, "What do you go by? Is it Victor, Mr. They Benjamin?" They were in the DMs, and this is in the DMs. This they, is on they Twitter. Slid in oh yeah, the DMs the DM. on Twitter. because this started because you started like there was like a Simpsonized thing, and you were on that, right? It, it, no, it actually started last Halloween mm -hmm. because oh, I happy I've, anniversary. Yes, thank happy, you. Happy, Me, but happy, happy finger anniversary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I put a, a random picture out. You know, you get all those mm. misnomered like photos and it's just like oh what is what do i do with this so i was in the corner i had like one eye open my tongue was like <laughs> i don't know what to do so i was like thinking about that 50 percent off halloween candy <laughs> tag butterfinger <laughs> with a few others and yes. they were the ones that responded yeah and followed me followed me on twitter jumped into dms hey we would love to send you something and i said okay sure. i would love to have something sent to me <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was, it was maybe the fourth package they sent. We were in Tampa for WrestleMania weekend. Mm -hmm. and Wait, before that? Oh, before that. I got a Valentine's Day she package. She did. I, what? It, My it God, was a heart-shaped box. With a poem in it. It was. It was so romantic. <laughs> From the other mistress. Yeah, right. <laughs> they, they picked up the slack so, for me. So you're least. in a quad bowl with wrestling and butter and yeah, butterfinger right. wow yes yes <laughs> it's getting crazy but we a, can't keep up i know it was a heart-shaped box with a bunch of butterfingers and a poem and they asked <laughs> me if i would be their valentine <laughs> and then a month later i'll let him pick this story up they were messaging me and it's really weird and really random i was like what do you go by professionally are you mr savage gentleman <laughs> <laughs> and i was like what? <laughs> so I told him, you know, the savage gentleman is is fine, I guess, professionally. And two months later, I heard nothing back from them and received a message as we were on our way home, actually, from Tampa. WrestleMania weekend. Yeah. yeah. And your crispity, crunchity surprise has arrived, was <laughs> what the DM said. I was like, oh my, I don't know what this means. I thought... It was going to be a freaking Nerf gun mm -hmm. because they were That's doing a thing with Halo for. at this time. Yeah, he just wanted a Nerf gun. I wanted this big, big giant child. Nerf gun because I was going to shoot her ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like every adult couple does. You know, the man right. tortures the woman. That's what happens. Every adult mm -hmm. couple. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. At least in our house. Yeah. <laughs> but to my surprise, we got there and the uh, box... It was enormous. It was, it was enormous. And I was like, I don't know what this is. And it wasn't the size of a Nerf gun. And it was heavy. Because it was square. Yeah, and it was heavy. So I brought it in. <laughs> and we documented this. We oh, yeah. filmed it. It's we live. actually did. And it was on our Patreon. We might have to make that public now. Oh, yeah, now probably. That it's been, like it's been a while. It's Everyone, been a while. Everyone asks. Yeah. But they a handwritten letter inside proclaiming me as the crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery champion. Of the world. Of the world. The Butterfinger champion of the world. 
and he has the nameplates on the side engraved the savage gentleman engraved. and the other one Holy says shit. no one lays a finger on my butter finger <laughs> <laughs> I like, love it. I don't you know, know what this, this means, right? Listen, he's like you're. You're this generation's Bart Simpson, right? I have a shirt that I'm a Simpsons character, also. Like, like <laughs> that's amazing. Next, so, next, we need to get we need to get Disney on the line. We need to get oh, you no. and Bart Simpson <laughs> doing a commercial. Oh, oh I thought oh, he was going to go the Elsa route. Oh, Elsa and Bart Simpson. No. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> she, basically, what she said was, "Let it go." <laughs> Anyway, I was just gonna speak your phrases or praises about being some, you know, shoot badass, <laughs> but yet he's a butterfinger champion. <laughs> like, legitimately, you know his first gimmick and his real life shoot story is undefeated mm -hmm. professional mixed martial artist. Yes, and which, which everybody like, knows now. Murder. Everyone, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mark. Mark <laughs> he Henry put it over. Murder someone. Yes, but yes. what got over is some random. It was peanut butter on eggs <laughs> that was left out. Peanut butter on top of eggs, which is delicious. Got all of this record. started. Mm -hmm. it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, and I, think um, I just saw on their feet over the weekend, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you did. Whenever I won my title, there you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. there you Another go. one. Hey, whatever, uh, whatever gets you over, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really weird because we just we just came back from Tampa. Mm -hmm. We were on a really good high. It had a great weekend. I competed in blood sport, mm -hmm. and for everyone that doesn't understand blood sport, it's shoot style wrestling. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. rings, mm -hmm. the ro no ropes. or no ropes yeah. in the ring. And I was like, yes, finally, here we go. I'm going to dig into this. And I got home and I was the peanut butter guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go again. Let's yeah. let's do it all over. And what go. we also should note is that um, about a month before that or two, we were ready to be like done. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was definitely mm -hmm. ready to be done. I was like, yeah. uh, I'm over it. Yeah. And we can get into our story or maybe it's out there. Who knows? We don't have enough time for that. But um, <laughs> We, we were, were like, living real lives and just doing the working regular jobs, like, hey, going to the house gym. And dogs, and maybe we just come home and watch movies. <laughs> do, and do people just watch, <laughs> sit on their Netflix? Netflix? I don't know. Like, maybe that's what we do. We just go to bed at like 10 or 9. Is that what normal people do? I don't know. And that's, that seems to be the thing. It seems like a lot of people, like, like, like you know, I mean, we're experiencing this with our business. It, Again, excuse the mess, uh, but you know, it just seemed like 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 so many people in the wrestling world, in in biz, in, in a lot of like production and stuff, just came out of the gate swinging when things opened up earlier this year. You know, and, and you guys amongst them, right? Like, it's just you were ready to just like the. It's like it cleared the slate for the big opportunities to come up and yeah. the focus. We were, full, we were full swing when the world was shut down, though. Mm -hmm. We were doing tapings. Um, when no one else was. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. Action Arcade for Shakara. Mm -hmm. No one was doing empty studio stuff other than us. And we were new characters, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't know we had like four matches as completely different characters. Mm -hmm. So we had yeah. to dig in and kind of learn who we were, who we weren't, who we were going to be, yeah. if we could shift and go in a different direction. So it challenged us so much. We had um, really a lot of tag team work and training with those new characters, which helped us tremendously as pretty proper. But we did so much during the off season, I feel like, when people weren't doing anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we were when, afforded, you know, a place to train and a place to work still, yeah. you know, while everything else was shut down. So all we with did... With like the best <clears throat> trainer in the world, probably. Right, one of the greatest minds yeah. in all of wrestling. But we got to hone our craft mm -hmm. yeah. and really dig in because we were hitting our stride pre pandemic and we were getting, we were getting there and like nowhere near where we are right now, of course. But mm -hmm. I, I feel like we were hitting our stride and then we just had, everyone had time to sit, but a lot of people just sat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't want to. That's we not us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, we moved back home. And then we almost got stagnant. You know, we got stuck. You know, we started doing the the normal life because we weren't. We had part time jobs. Mm -hmm. In but we've the been other away cities. from family and friends for almost two years. So yeah. when we came back, yeah. we were like, "Wow, real people, real friends, real life, and mm -hmm. things that we had been missing out on because we had given so much to wrestling." And in Pittsburgh now, we get to balance both. I feel like we still have friends and family, and wrestling is better than ever. 
And I think it's a saying, like, when you hold on too tight and you obsess over something and you want it so bad, it's not going to happen. If you love mm-hmm. it, let it go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, we had to let it go. Are you going to sing it? Are you going to sing it? <laughs> and we get pulled from YouTube. Yeah, right. <laughs> not with that oh, horrible right. singing no, voice. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, not with that key. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> What's, what's so, the key? So you exactly. Uh, so you, you come back, and, and the impressive thing is, uh, 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 Frost, like you ended up on two women's showcase shows in the last several months with the NWA yes. Empower uh, and, and with three R's and, and, with, with three R's <laughs> Empower. <laughs> yeah, I think we <laughs> is, it, is that officially in the branding guide you get when you quit walking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a little uh, angry dog. I think we used to make that joke when the original NWA Power came out. So, um, but uh, so you got to be a part of that, and you got to be part of the uh, Knockouts Knockdown, I believe it was with Impact Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, um, I think he's in the chat room. Chachi bought on pay per view <laughs> to to see this thing. You know, I, I, I think it was. Uh, you know, and I'm just like, dude, it's like five bucks on you. Okay, whatever. Uh, but still, like, 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 <laughs> like, people came out of the woodwork to to see these shows. We we yeah. picked up Empower and first NWA pay per view we got. Uh, you know, and so it really it really kind of um, you know uh, 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 brought brought a lot of focus on on both the promotions. I think they normally don't get it. Uh, how did you become a part of that? And 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 obviously you're you're, you're kind of still kind of hanging around in both those promotions a little bit. It seems. Uh, I am. I'm very much part of both NWA and Impact. Mm-hmm. I will say um, NWA started it. Mm-hmm. Billy Corgan took a shot on me. And Mickey James came in and they were building their roster. And I think I was already kind of right there in the the eye shot at NWA. And she had a big part in my role. So I was injured when I went in there. Um, I couldn't do too, too much. Maybe I'm giving so much away. But... I knew I could hit that sky twisted press. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, you show and you showed me your hand after a match shortly after that, uh, after another match. Yeah, my and hand was, was, yeah. was yeah. shattered. Yeah. My ankle was sprained, so I had two injuries. Mm-hmm. Um, Looked like a one of those blown up doctor's gloves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But if you want it enough, you know, I knew I had to make an impression and. I worked with what I had, and that's character, that's emotion, that's just... Storytelling. Yeah, storytelling. Mm-hmm. And when you have a match like that, there's so many talented women involved. It's like, how do you stand out? What do you do? And that was the... Uh, it was a gauntlet kind of Royal Rumble-ish kind of thing that yes. that, that, that was yeah. the main event of the show, actually. <laughs> right. And it was so. so good. And all of those women were so, so incredible. And I will say, the locker rooms at both shows were freaking awesome. And that's thanks to Gail and Mickey and Kong and... Honestly, like everyone just really wanted to show out. There you was just, you no just think some of my favorite women's wrestlers I out know, there. No, and they're incredible. Like, yeah. how they can say, you not like yeah. Don't meet your heroes. Like, those women are actually freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't talk about people that I don't like. <laughs> like, I will put those women. Like, they um, have done amazing things. Jazz, I freaking love Jazz. Mm-hmm. She was my first mm-hmm. agent at NWA. And we had a blast because she's so curt and like to the point and mm-hmm. we just hit it off. Um, so yeah, I had a really good company and I think I grew so much from those two shows alone. Um, I think it made me understand who I am, my place in the wrestling world maybe. And if it's a cloak and a moonsault, I'm a cloak and a moonsault. But I know <laughs> between bell to bell, I have a lot more to offer than just a few moves. Um, but if it's character and a couple of high flying spots. Like that's what I do best. So absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and then that seemed like, I mean, it seemed that that parlayed then into the impact show as well. Yes. Right. So, and I had, um, 10 to 12 with Rachel Ellering, who was incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, she was fantastic to work with. We had never worked before. So there's always this like, okay, this is a really big stage. This is a really big show. We've never even interacted before or wrestled before. How's this going to go? But I feel like we gave it, everything that we could Mm -hmm. and the audience was so great and i told this story before so i don't think people know they had the 10 bell salute right before the start Mm -hmm. of the show for uh, daphne right yes for daphne and we were the very very first match filmed Mm. so literally the 10 bell salute happened we walked backstage and then my music hit so i was the very first person out of the curtain after the 10 bell salute so it was i can't explain to you like the pressure that happens and the emotions that are going through you when this is already the most insane opportunity of my life, right? Mm-hmm. That you're just coursing with all of these, these pressures and emotions. But 
yeah, so it was definitely a challenge. It was a challenge, but I feel like I rose up and good things are happening and I had two good, good showings and yeah. <laughs> and I would like to just humbly brag and say she was one of like five women that did both all women pay-per-view. Like mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. only a handful of people that were on both. Yeah. 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 She's one of them. So just that tie in, you know, that, that whole unsigned, you know, top talent thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm allowed to say it. Um, uh, uh, Chachi also chimed in in the chat room. He says, uh, uh, and Chachi's not usually in our chat room for this show. So you, you're even bringing him out for this. Uh, <laughs> Chachi! Chachi, Chachi never watches this show. No, no, he doesn't. He even never though, watches Even though the, the, the show does. starts with his voice and has for 10 years. But, uh, <laughs> but he, he did say that was the first impact pay-per-view he's ever bought. So, wow. so there you go. There Thank you go. Chachi. Some really Thank cool you. stuff. That's awesome. Um, and, I, and I love like stuff like that is exactly what's bringing people, you, you know, back to that promotion. Yeah. Unblocked Mad Mike on Twitter. Like all, st <laughs> all kinds of great stuff's happening right now. I think it's really cool that people are just like, Dropping the animosity between a promotion. Mm -hmm. If you want to support oh, someone, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, just, yeah. you like a wrestler or you're interested mm -hmm. in a matchup, who cares where it's at? Mm -hmm. If it's on the yeah. indies, if it's on a pay per view, or if it's on a company you're not really crazy about, like you don't have to pick and choose. You don't have to like pick a side. You're not owned by anyone. Just watch what you want to watch. Enjoy it. And the cool part is you can watch. Like it, it, it does feel like that thing that happens with the indies where. Where it's like, oh, hey, you know, Lady Frost is with this promotion, you know, and then you follow along, right? right. And, okay, they're over here. Let's go see what this promotion's about. That's now happening. They can follow you from NWA to Impact to AEW Dark or whatever mix of that that might happen, right? right. So, like, it, it, you know, what... What channel is uh, Suzuki on this week? Right. <laughs> all of them. Oh, apparently all, all of them. them. Yes, he was, exactly. He did his thing while he was here in America. My yeah. God. Yeah, I just saw the. Uh, I just saw his face off with uh, Josh Alexander. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised crap. you didn't get like. I'm surprised you didn't travel back to Japan like an iron lung for all the matches he was in. No, that like, guy. Yeah. Come on. Well, <laughs> you never this know, is, but. You, like, he's going around saying nobody hits hard here come on <laughs> yeah but then you have everyone trying yes really, exactly really hard. exactly exactly <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of bruised uh, uh chests from chops oh, uh yeah. <laughs> left left in his wake probably so geez um but yeah exactly so you know yeah so there's a really cool kind of like you know there's no forbidden door it's just everything's wide open and that's really cool to see Yes. So absolutely. Um, so so uh, you know, it, I I don't even know where you where, you know you're, you're already a bunch of different places, uh, and actually you do have one big uh, uh, venture that's coming up here that we're going to talk about in just a moment. Right. But first of all, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, you know because because being on every 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 program is is apparently not enough. Uh, right. They yeah. also <laughs> need to 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 produce something. Uh, so, uh, but in the meantime, speaking of some uh, uh, a local wrestling that you can follow along, want to give a th uh, sh throw out to indiewrestling.us. That's where we're working with a lot of, hey, wait, there's a lot of matches with these two as a part of it. You want to check out, uh, especially they some... They were like five years ago, don't judge yeah, us. Yeah, they might, they might want to... They might, <laughs> they might they not want me... Back then. They might not want me to show some of those early matches <laughs> going on there. But uh, I actually just shared since... since uh, since uh, Benjamin was on the sh on last night, I shared a, a little bit of a playlist of everything I had on YouTube, and there's a lot of oh, there's boy. a shot of there's a lot of Inya face on there. I'll just <laughs> mention uh, who is that guy? Who is that who guy? Is that? He's a, he's he's hardly recognizable. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, there's so many lifetimes ago. Yes, yeah, yeah, So.